and I'm doing it for my daughter. And it's not like I when I saw Matt Perry like the fat bloated look. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's, that's like gonna be, that's Nick gonna be. jeans. That's starting to. These things are starting to scare me now. It's, mm. it's like the, well, like when they look like they're holding their jaw on with their teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wired up with a sock like Jake <laughs> Riley. I'm an addict, and there's no way you can even start. Like I hate that. <laughs> I hate. That. <laughs> Do you know you just, like look up Matthew Perry's last interview? No, like the when, when his guys, last words. <laughs> his last words. <laughs> his last words were, "I am an addict." <laughs> yeah, I'm Matt Man. <laughs> I'm Matt. Man. Matt Man did this to me. He's like on a stage somewhere and he's like, oh, he's on Epstein Island flight list too, by the way. He's what? He was on the Epstein Island flight, flight list. Oh, that's really nice. Mm. That must be a fun thing. Like Chris Tucker. You know, there's like a, a girl that works uh, works with us that doesn't, didn't know what the fucking Epstein was. Oh, like really? a normal girl that's cool and like yeah, yeah. with us. She's like, what is that? I know Jeffrey Epstein, but like, what's, what's the island? Yeah. What is that? I never heard about that. Dark revelation. I was like, damn, is that a fucking... Uh, like then you know how like how weird the media is. Yep. Mm. Like she never heard about. It. Like you never got an article like that's like there's an island where. I want people to understand that <laughs> they're not alone. <laughs> oh. That there are other people feeling. Exactly how do where do you get the hair lip going. from? Yeah, yeah. Like that. The that fuck? mouth. That's, I want people to understand oh, what the that they're, <laughs> they're not alone. That how do you keep all of his hair? Feeling exactly the way they're feeling. That their his hair looks great. It does. Insane. That they have a disease. And it's not their fault. I hate okay. that. It's the one right there, the top one right there. Whose fault is it? The unstory survivor. It's this. God's <laughs> fault. Um, I want to congratulate Matthew off the top for having. You can cut to anywhere where he's off top. Like, Yo, Matthew. You beat him up or not? You the man. This is like the World Peace stage mm. from he Skankfest. Also, yeah, this, 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 this is Skankfest last right? year. This is a good production. Chris. This stuff. Come on, you have to. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up for a second. One more time. One more time. Give him a round of applause. Chris Lynch. That's Chris Lynch was at the Okay, so that's, here's the deal with them. Those guys are my best friends since third grade. See how he's and holding his jaw? And I started talking in this kind of interesting way. Maybe you're familiar with it. But we would say to each other, could that, could that teacher be any meaner? You, uh, holy shit. That shit. You know when like Bam Margera is still fucked attention? up and he talks like that? Like mm -hmm. I hate seeing it. I have a buddy, this guy Rick. I like the guy a lot, but like when it, it's just like that drunky. I'm like, I could. That's gonna be me. Mm. Like he's I'm got all fake teeth too. Yeah, that's there's uh, less real jaw there than there is metal and and uh, plastic. <laughs> yeah, God, yeah. freakish. So I'm gonna do five Ks and talk shit to women. <laughs> oh yeah, five K runs. Yeah, yeah. Di yeah. Diarrhea on them when you run by. Yeah, yeah. get the fuck out of my way, fat ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it's like Michael Jackson. Remember Dave? Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave. Oh. Dave. Dave. Oh. Dave. Oh. They'll make like, you smile on Larry King. They'll make you smile. You'll know. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a god. That, that's Michael Jackson Baby. after he got his skin blown off in the Pepsi commercial. That's allegedly the real Michael Jackson. Oh. Listen to his voice. He talks about the criminality of his father and stuff like that. Like, it's so awesome. What a king he is. Oh, this is the best video Didn't ever. Seem like Joining us now here yeah. in Los Angeles, Miko Brando, who was with us almost every night what? after this untimely passing. Long time Michael Jackson. He's taking a sip. Attending the funeral. And Dave Dave. Yes, that's his name, Dave Dave. He was David Rothenberg. He was set on fire in 1983, <laughs> suffered, as you can see, terrible scars. Michael Jackson befriended him and paid for a lot of his surgeries. Dave, Dave is also attending the burial. Oh, Why Dave, incredible, Dave? isn't it? Well, to liberate myself from the confines of my father's criminality. <laughs> he caused the fire? Yeah. Oh, Dave, you gotta hear he this. He is a criminal. And he, yeah, you have to. It sounds just like, it sounds, uh, it sounds just like, yeah. yeah. Caused all this. To, to free myself of his name and his legacy, I decided to become my own person through changing my name. We'll find out how Michael helped you, but Miko, is that a typical I'm gonna change story my name to Dave, Dave. Don't forget his like dad. That he goes by the name so Chuck Charles. No, it's not a joke. You can't make <laughs> that up. When you watch the news together, Who's dad? I thought that was Pat Buchanan reach on there. Reach out to them, send Mike them a basket, Brando? send Miko them a, Brando? You know, Miko a, Brando. a note, uh, get well, or whatever the incident would be. And Who's this flea market salesman? I think it's Marlon Brando, his son. He's using those buck knives people. at a flea How market. Uh, remember Joe day. Jackson selling perfume at malls? Selling buck knives at a flea <laughs> He's on CNN. He's just like, ah, we'll put a suit on him. He's like, all right, whatever. It looks like Krause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
hey, you're going to come out and talk about Michael Jackson. Yeah, whatever. You, I don't care. Well, how much is it? 300 bucks? Okay. So good. That's actually world. a really good idea. Yep. Hiring mm-hmm. people like off the street, 200 bucks yeah. to talk about 9-11. Yep. They're and experts. He was there. He was one of the first responders. Let's hear what he has to say. <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you what. I walked up. I looked up at the building. The first plane it was smashing into it. Well, the whole thing was on fire. People were running everywhere. Next thing I saw, Steve Buscemi got his fire gear on. He was helping for free. <laughs> well, he went broke uh, from his sex addiction, so he had to make it up somehow. Yeah, He's he another w- one that went broke. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After all that from sex addiction. How the hell does he, like, he has, like, he has sex? I don't believe it. Look at his face. Yeah. And I, and I don't dislike him. Like, he's he's good. But I don't believe that guy has sex. I really don't. I don't. He's a very sexual guy. I disagree. You think he's sensual as well? Sensual, Charles. You know, maybe I, I'm going to have to hit him up. See if he can God make me a woman. <laughs> <laughs> see if he can be good. You call him two days later. You're. It's like, it's oh. national news. He blows all of his money on me. <laughs> he's pro- <laughs> prostituting him. <laughs> you, you dress nice and like obviously bought red. You're walking out of like Louis Vuitton with bad bags. <laughs> He treats me right. I f- he pays me like twenty grand a night. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you're telling TMZ uh, photographers exactly what's happening. He gave me thirty five hundred last night. I f- fucking threw a bunch of. I mean, we went out. He spent nine grand. Gives me the cash after. I fucking halfway. I refused to finish unless he gave me twenty G's. <laughs> <laughs> you jump in a fucking Ferrari. <laughs> it's yours. It says Charles is now Chuck Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Your license plate's a paragraph oh, long that says oh. fucking Steve Buscemi. Oh, <laughs> if you ever go through it, if you ever get in, a, in an accident or get plastic surgery or anything, Charles, you should rebrand as Chuck Charles. Chuck Charles is definitely the That's play. That's an incredible name. I, it was shocking. I didn't even know for years. And someone said, Chuck Charles. I said, I knew it was real. I was yeah. like, oh. I, was, <laughs> I had to sit down. <laughs> you had to take a breather as soon as you heard it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's na- whose father went by Chuck Dave Dave's dad went by Chuck yep, Charles? Chuck Charles. That's wow. kind of an interesting name. Did we hear Dave Dave again? I didn't hear it. <laughs> You'll like, like cans on. That's an audio engineering term. That's, I thought it was for like big cans. knockers. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, this That's, guy is a king. He's in heaven. You know that. Oh, yeah. Joining us now here in Los Angeles, Miko Brando, who was with us almost every night Krause. after this untimely <laughs> He's with Larry King every night. Miko <laughs> Brando with us every night. Yeah, where? And <laughs> Dave Dave. Yes, that's his name, Dave Dave. He was David Rothenberg. He was set on fire in 1983. Anglicized his name to Dave. See, terrible scars. Michael Jackson befriended him and paid for a lot of his surgeries. Dave Dave is also... <laughs> Attending the station burial. fire. Why Dave Dave? Oh, that night, station well, fire. To liberate myself what? from the confines of my father's criminality. What was going on? At he caused the fire? Whoa. Yeah. He, he is a criminal and he uh, caused all this. To, to free myself of his name and his legacy, I decided to c- become my own person through changing my name. We'll find out how Michael helped you, but Miko, is that, that a Diane. typical story of Michael? Helping people like this? Absolutely. When he would hear about stories about people in need. Yeah. Nice hairline. Help yeah. When we watch the news together. <laughs> it's the hottest. The fucking it's like his head's he, wearing a cape. Reach out to them, <laughs> send them a basket. Dracula on his a, head. You know, <laughs> a, a note. Uh, get well or whatever. That's probably Michael Jackson. <laughs> he'd always yeah. reach out to people and help people. Even driving around town, he'd stop and help people. He'd give people a ride. How about you, Dave? Um, he heard about me and he had contacted me. And wanted to meet me. How old were you at the time? I was about seven years old at the time. And were you in the hospital? I was not in the hospital at the time. I was I was in interim back and forth from surgery. And what did he do for you? Well, basically, he befriended me. <laughs> the thing's me. up on two wheels, taking yeah. the turn. <laughs> you pause it, pause it, Chris. Is Dave Dave still still alive? No, he died a few years back. How terrible. Went to Poor heaven. bastard. Unless he was one of Michael mm-hmm. Jackson's accomplices. I... I mean, I, do you believe that Michael Jackson was doing? I mean, it seems obvious, but I just I think don't. It seems obvious and indisputable, but it's also um, it's also the case that Michael Jackson didn't he he, bought, he sneakily bought the Beatles yep. catalog. They made him look like a monster, and, and he, he had he some re- songs. Had the lyric "Kick me, kick me." Yeah, you remember any way you like me. Yep, he was sort of at at war with um, Jewish record executives. Yep. So who really knows? It makes know? the story they they have on him less. I mean, that makes it the least believable. Yeah, and also there's also the the uh, kids that accused him. There's the 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 parents. There's like tapes of the parents being like, "This is our we just hit the lottery," like stuff like that. Yeah, Aaron Carter's mom. It really? Yeah, Aaron Carter's mom being like, "He 
you. Mm -hmm. And Aaron Carter was like, I kind of wish I hung out with Aaron Carter. He's like the Chet Hanks mm -hmm. that I <laughs> wanted to hang out mm -hmm. Is he dead? Chet Hanks, uh, yeah, Aaron Carter's dead. Oh, yeah. You said Bruce Willis gave him a million dollars? Yeah, Bruce Willis was dating him at one point. Yeah. And he was giving him presents and gifts. Uh, yeah. It was kind of like uh, the relationship that Justin Bieber had with Jeffrey Jones. They were kind of dating for a bit. You remember Jeffrey Jones? Justin, Jeffrey Jones, uh, the principal from Ferris Bueller's. Oh, Day. God. You man. remember him? Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they think they were dating at some point. <laughs> I thought that was sweet. <laughs> Justin Bieber was fucking They uh, were dating. <laughs> They're out to dinner at spaghetti. They're out of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> then, he's, then he's got all the different kinds of elite on his computer, and then he's in jail for like, Jeffrey Jones. He's mm -hmm. in jail. Oh, he just died. Oh, no, he's in jail. Still. He's still alive? He was, he was wow. great in Howard the Duck. He yeah. made my life sick. I think he was him. great in everything. Yeah, I actually he was liked great fantastic. in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He was yeah. amazing. Yeah, amazing was. actor. Yeah. But he uh, had some proclivities, or maybe not. Maybe it was just a hitch up. I have, you have no idea. Well, I mean, he's got the physiognomy of a collector. Of a man with proclivities. <laughs> of a man with hard drives. I feel bad for Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter was like, they tried to, his mom, his like, mom, like, you fucking crazy? Yep. I didn't get touched by Michael Jackson. Like, he was kind of normal. Hmm. And the like, FBI was at his house. And I, there's a really good interview where he was like, you, uh, it's that one. You wouldn't have to watch it. But it's basically like, Ooh. <clears throat> you, um, I didn't fuck. And my mom was like, you, he touched you, remember? Oh, yeah. The, implanting memories in him. Yep. Using hypnosis on her own son, yeah, after trying to pimp him out. I think it's, uh, Anybody who feels like ending up in L.A., like L.A. Hollywood ch child, there's no length in which they won't go. No. Mm. I mean, I get, hey, your kid, you want to make your kid a star, that's fine. But being like, ah, anything goes. Yeah. I remember seeing it right in the parents and like leaving that day. You were there, Chuck. Mm -hmm. We were doing the casting. And do you remember the dads? What was this for? It was for, it was in, and we were in L.A. Yeah. We were doing casting at that casting agency, at yep. that thing. Yep. And uh, we had... One of them was for kids, and the, and the parents were always there with the kids, and like we, we would have like the. It wasn't for Jews Rock, was it? No, no, no. It, was, it was like pre-show. Okay, it was okay, like okay, when okay. we didn't have money. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was it was no pay. It was a no pay job. Mm -hmm. It was like, uh, what did we use kids for? There was supposed to be like a kid for a commercial or something. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, but <clears throat> uh, it was like the first. It was when, it was when we got money from. Yeah, mm. yeah. It was like, you know, we had like two. I remember the stuff we were shooting. I don't remember what, I, what. Yeah, I don't remember what the hell we needed. Like, I remember we had like, it was the one we did American Girl. Mm hmm. I think, yeah, whatever. I think Adult Swim really wanted it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so. Uh, These fucking assholes. Yeah. It's <laughs> 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 giving someone 15 grand, telling them to make five videos. For, anyway. Um, oh, blah, blah, blah. So they were like, yeah. I remember one dad specifically being like, eh, yeah, you can see he'll swear anything, literally anything. I feel like I remember that. And, and we were all like, Ugh. yeah. And then like, he's like, no, no, literally anything. Yeah, yeah. And he like kept ramming at home. And I, I think I was outside smoking weed and cigarettes like yeah. soon thereafter. I'm like, this is fuck. <laughs> Should we this guy? Yeah. <laughs> fuck me. I feel like wicked dirty right now. Like, this is disgusting. Yeah. Sick. I yeah. hate, I hate seeing, um, even in regular roles, children and mm -hmm. babies in movies, because mm. you just know that it's not—it's mm. not a good, fun experience no. for them. Even if they're—even if they're doing something totally normal, it's like, fucking, why would you put your—why would you have your kid go through this? I really don't like that.